Coming to the next topic, GRD, there are two mechanisms which can bring this GRD induced cough. One is distal esophageal exposure, that acid can come up and that can stimulate the cough by just uh, stimulating the vagus nerve because this vagus is the main nerve and the trigeminal and drosopharyngeal is the afferent nerve where it is going in the tractus solitarius in the midbrain and coming through again through the vagus and spinal nerves into the this intercostal, this abdominal diaphragm and the pelvic muscles. So this is the cough psych, uh, reflex. So sometimes from the below, the acid can come up and for irritate the vagus nerve. And sometimes the aspiration of this secretion in, and that can also give rise to cough. So as I've told you, that second group of patients, they don't have heartburn. So absence of heartburn does not mean that they can't have GERD. Now in this GERD, definitely two months, high dose PPI and lifestyle change and dietary modification, what is required. I won't prolong this, that what kind of dietary modification, we all know this. Advise them to limit vigorous exercise and reduce on fat intake. Obviously, if they become fat, more thing will squeeze up from the down below and that will aggravate the problem. And some of these groups, they can have non-gaseous reflux and their PPI may not be effective. And in this group, this prokinetics kinetics like metoclopramide, domperidone, but you have to be uh, careful about the side effects. You know that Itopride, levosulfiride, all these drugs came. We were very happy. Patients were very happy. And now we have to withdraw. So these things do happen in medicine. Sometimes we are just bringing these drugs and sometimes we are withdrawing drugs. We are confused and making our con patients confused more. So we can't help it. And sometimes the surgery fund duplication cannot be recommended for the treatment of just for the cough. There might be some, must be some other things to recommend this test, uh, this, uh, sorry, procedure if they suffer from GERD.